Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and Atom Palm is shutting down. Depending on if you've been in the mouse scene for a long time, that might send a um, chill down your spine. I mean, Atom Palm Hydrogen, that was the concept mouse for literally years. There was the Linus Tech Tips video about it, um, and then the Atom Palm Hydrogen eventually came out. So there's some good lore to this. But yeah, now pretty much after Atom Palm sells out their like remaining stock, they're not going to be producing any more hydrogen. So this is going to be a review of the Hydrogen 2. I'm just going over some of the things they sent me along with the mouse I ordered. Like this wasn't sent out for review, but they included just like genuine pieces of like the production history. Really cool stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be talking about that. And I'm not going to lie, when I posted my initial review of the Hydrogen, kind of shitting on it. Um, I didn't think much of it, but then when I saw this, uh, that they were shutting down, I was like, damn, I wonder if that's part of that, like, I wonder if they hate me, um, but after they sent me this stuff, wrote me this very kind handwritten note that, like, I mean, I'm fucking mogs my penmanship, I was like, okay, maybe, I think all of the hyping I did in my tier list and just talking about for years on end outweighed, um, the negative review and it dropped, and I just want to be clear, I don't think I was overly critical, like, I did that video trying to bring the company down, the mouse was just flawed, um, but, again, being one of the probably bigger fans of the project in general it's just sad to see it go but yeah they actually did ironically i guess address a few of the uh, shortcomings with the hydrogen one and this has been out for a decent amount of time i just never picked one up like the mushy clicks are gone the click feeling um is generally improved if you click farther down they do get really heavy but that's just a feature of the design um the side buttons are no longer extremely stiff there is like a little bit of wobble on them but it's really not a deal breaker and the coding is massively improved compared to the previous previous version which just had like a really cheap like almost like resin per, like pre-production type of feel but now this actually it does feel very refined the build quality is good and this is a 50 gram um larger mouse i guess i can get the side buttons to activate through the shell when i squeeze hard but that's not like but yeah in my time using this mouse i really didn't notice that i've had it for over a week now and this does have japanese omron switches some of the lowest click latency out of any mouse like that was the thing they set out to do and i just feel like this mouse was kind of more of a concept just for where the market was gonna go and it got it pretty accurate like super lightweight high polling rates obviously this is wired market is generally wireless i think this is like more or less the same wire as um zound kunig so if you throw it in a bungee like it's fine but i'm not gonna lie this does not have like the true wireless feeling the 3360 sensor it still does feel like you're using um just an older like more unique mouse the shape is very rigid like you can see it here um but it honestly works for claw grip if you do have larger hands it's obviously designed for palm grip but yeah compared to the gpx it's just going to be higher profile wider it's just going to feel larger in hand it's not like my top shape on the market um i can do well with it with a relaxed claw grip though one feature that they didn't change is the fact that the scroll wheel click is just like outrageously heavy i imagine that's due to the um japanese omron switch see this is one of the things they sent me a uh, current like version of the hydrogen 2's pcb so maybe i will make some type of a custom mouse with this they also sent out like a whole sheet of uh 2021 version 11 pcbs i mean like this is crazy no company has ever ever sent me something like this and i guess they just have it uh lying around and i i genuinely have no idea what i'm gonna do with this if anybody has some ideas in the comments let me know they also sent me like the original fucking test jig board like what pretty wild stuff some scroll wheels there's the v1 the v2 and then the v7 i don't know if they ever got around to the v7 and yeah i was thinking about installing this in my mouse but i don't know i really like the uh, blue metallic wheel and i think one day these are going to be worth like a million dollars so i don't want to take mine apart um, and last but not least, they sent me literally the original, like, 2019 version 1 board. That's just, it's really cool stuff. And I know it's, like, to some people, you might feel like that is a fucking nerd thing to care about. But, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, considering this board weighs under 10 grams with switches and a sensor, I might try to make, like, some type of fingertip mouse um, concoction with that. And the rest, I don't know. But, yeah, really, if you're somebody who is interested in this mouse, it's probably just more for the um, company and experience in general rather than than expecting like a god shape that is just far ahead of the competition in terms of tech at this point so yeah i would say i just really have way less issues this time around compared to the um original version i did pull it out i thought i was like where is this but i eventually found it and you can see that the coating is just much more like oily um like kind of textured in a way but it's 
far worse in my opinion but yeah just in general the hydrogen 2 is just a lot more well-rounded the clicks feel like they have a bit more travel distance even though at the top they do have some uh, pre-travel but these are just minor things there could be some copy to copy variants the side buttons are no longer just like fucking crazy stiff um, the mouse skate design is updated i think it's just a higher quality ptfe blend so if you were interested in the hydrogen didn't get it the first time around i would say you know get it now before you can never get it again and yeah the weight at 50 grams honestly isn't bad like it's not extremely dense the weight balancing isn't noticeably off it just feels like solid for your mouse of this size it's not like beyond impressive though like something like a ulx tiger yeah, I don't want to drag this on too much. I mostly wanted to make this video as like a farewell to Adam Palm. And since I had the new mouse, I wanted to mention that it is indeed a, a pretty big improvement over the uh, V1 version. And obviously to thank Adam Palm for sending me out all of the stuff, all of the pieces of their history as a company, which I, in retrospect, I was pretty invested in. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, as always, be sure to uh, leave a like and subscribe. I'll leave a link to Adam Palm's website um, in the description. And any comments, questions, let me know, and I will try to answer them. But yeah, that's going to be all. Peace out.